Next item. Trustee Williams. <laughs> doc rates. Doc rates. We, we had a doc committee meeting, and the doc committee thought we should leave the rates alone. But there was also another proposal on the table to go with, how do you word it? Complimentary or what was the word? Courtesy. 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 The courtesy or donation envelope. Like Pat program. Simpson asked us to do. And charge only in the evening. The year they did that, courtesy, they took in more money, they believe, right? Quite a bit more. Um, the DOC committee's concern, I think there's seven of us there, and the DOC committee's, most of the DOC committee's concern was we did a better job keeping track of them when there was a charge after the four hours. There was a lot of squatters. They would leave their boat there all day. They might eat, eat picnic basket, drink, sit there all day, never spend a penny in town or never leave the spot. In the meantime, other boats were coming in. There was no other spots. So the committee's idea was to leave them like they thought they did a good job last year. Yeah, yeah but we didn't take any money. In. So I guess the reason the money wasn't taken in well was the kids felt funny about going there and asking people and but I wasn't the doc guy last year so I don't really know. Well the committee's proposal for this year was to do the donation envelopes for the first four hours and then charge after four hours. So you're actually charging them twice. And I have a little bit of a problem with that. You're asking them for money for four hours and then you're you're hitting them with a bill after that. Well they're trying to get them to leave after four hours, right? Well, or but they're not going to. Um, so they're going to be squatters, hours, right? Instead of, so they're going to have to pay for all eight hours instead of getting four for free? They just thought because the docs were nice, yeah. you hand them an, a complimentary, I keep calling it complimentary. Donation. It's a, it's a donation a, envelope. Donation envelope. You hand them an envelope, and then they feel good about it. They go buy an ice cream or whatever, a soda or a Coke or whatever they're going to buy in town. And uh, they go back to their boat and leave, and they might leave with something in there. Alan Taylor said that there's people went to his ice cream shop that felt bad about having to pay, you know, like the fee. And if we just hand them the envelope, well, we said we did give the envelopes out, but he thinks we should, not just Alan, everybody that was there almost thought that we should have a donation for the first four hours and then charge after so we can kind of control that have them control oh. right well the thing with the, the wording was that all is if the donation was would eliminate the word free right that we had last year and his point was and i thought it was a good one is that you know someone might leave a couple bucks whereas they may have left nothing for that little time they were there and would make up for, you know, just because you word a donation and hand them the envelope, just that little option of a little bit of money for the, the small time they're there, you know, it's better than, you know, give them those free four hours and then, you know, uh, starting your, your rates. So uh, I thought it was a good point. You know, I thought, you know, if, if people just use it for 40 minutes or an hour and a half, then if they want to leave a couple bucks, great, you know, so. See, like Steve sees it more than anybody, now in his place, but uh, he says you get a 36 footer, 40 foot boat, they go there and they park there for the four yeah. hour free. And, and now if they can stay there all day long, they're never gonna leave the boat, they're gonna. For four days. For four, days. it's gonna be crazy. Nobody's ever gonna be able to come in and go. They take up three spots. They're huge. They can eat on their boat. On their boat. They're yeah. not even setting money to go. Well, but, would, but you have to realize that the kids did still hand out the donation right. envelopes when the boats docked last year. Yeah. We did recognize donation envelopes more so than the daily fees last year. We received very few fees for the daytime docking. And maybe then some they, people were offended that they, they weren't even Yeah, I was going to say, maybe the kids are too young to really, you know, yeah. mom people. Mean, you know, they're kids. Sure. They're not going to go up and mom people. Up, you know, we, we talked about having a man. 
younger, somebody yeah, so older, an one. adult to see their, yeah. Well, then, then you're talking, then you're talking spending more money to try to collect a little bit more. Yeah. And then you could end up with less. We had an adult down there at 30 years old should, a couple years we ago. We have all the young kids, too, maybe and two or three adults. That can have he like was missing more than he was on the dock. Yeah. Really, yeah. yeah. called him one time to talk to him. He was in late class. And he said, so. All I know is, is when we were strictly donations during the day, we took in a lot of money with the donations. It went well. People felt good because they could give what they wanted. Uh, you know, those big weekends with boat traffic down there, it's it's hard to keep track of That's every boat that comes in, what time they come in, what time you have to start charging them after four hours. It's, you know, they can just barely... Four hours, you know, 15 minutes this one. Yeah. And when you've got kids working one shift and then kids coming in for another shift, well, these boats aren't marked. You have no idea when those you boats came know. in, so you don't know when their four but, hours but, are up. But after <coughs> the night, is that a way they can make sure that some boats don't stay, stay there for two, three days? Does that solve that problem where they don't really... Well, there is the overnight fee, if they mm -hmm. say overnight. Right. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, also they pay that, but then they stay all the next day because it's free. Because yeah. it's yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then the next night they'll pay their overnight fee again. Right. Yeah. So the overnight fees are, are good fees. Are and they comparable well to what you would fees. pay if you were, you know, Edgewood or River Edge or no. the body? Are they comparable to what you would have to pay if you went to one of the other places? You know? No, because we, we, don't electric, we don't have electric. We don't have electric and water and things like that. But it's comparable to what people pay in other villages, like overnight the fees kick in. Kingston, it's you know, they pay. There's no free. You know, they pay when they get there. Prior years, the overnight envelopes were free. When they did get a tag to tag their boat, some boaters would steal the tag off the other boat and put it on theirs, which made it difficult. Okay. People could do that. Yeah, so we had we had problem with, with people stealing so tickets really on the boats which we down there. Go, you're going to have problems. Uh, you know, I just think with the with the increase in the overnight fees that we did last year, and going back to the to the donation system that we've done for the past what? How long were we doing that? When Pat came in, well, it was 2000? 2000, 2002, 2003, I think. There is. You have a way to know those tickets, too. Has anybody been into a park anywhere with one of their wristbands on your wrist and you can't take it off? If that's what you're worried about, put, a, put one of those bands around one of those sticky bands. They're not going to steal them. And you can write the time on the time they got there and put a color text. Because you can't get those off. And you can't reuse them. No, but there again, you know, when you've got... Yeah. How, how many foot of dockage is down there? What I'm saying, so if you're if you're having trouble with people taking tickets off at night, put it on with a band of the tape. Yeah. yeah. And write on it. Well, now the they, they log every boat that's staying overnight. They log that in that notebook down there, which helps. But it's hard to do that during the day when you're running up trying to tie up boats and untie boats. And trying to catch somebody, you know, when you've got half a dozen people leaving at the same time, Trying to get out there and figure out what they owe. Well, this guy just took off and he didn't pay anything. Not, it's, it's just not an easy fix and it's not a good system. And I'll be honest with you, I don't feel it's any different between it, if it's an adult down on the dock or a kid down on the dock because they're going to do the same thing. Right. Mm -hmm. That adult's not going to keep up any more than that kid's going to keep up down on the dock. When those, kid, when those boats are coming and going. And I don't know who gave up my cell phone last year at the dock, but I'll tell you what, I got some real interesting calls from people after we changed them rates. <laughs> Very interesting call. Of course, some of them are people that come in more often than others. They're not really transient boaters. They're people that live on the island and stuff. And I think they're the ones that are more receptive to the donation envelopes. Right. Where a transient boater is used to that. Feet. I just, well, your daughter worked down there. Mm -hmm. Kind of issue that she had. Well, I got a lot of interesting phone calls as well. People <laughs> who didn't like the dock fees. <clears throat> um, it, it was very hectic because not only do you have a full dock of people coming and going, like we just discussed, but also you have kids changing shifts. 
So unless you have a good idea of what time each boat came in, exactly how long they've been there, it was really hard to do the four hour, um, the four hour free thing. But other than other than minor complaints and just keeping track of the time, there wasn't a whole lot of a lot of issues outside of that. My opinion is we go to the donations during the day and keep the overnight fees the same. What did the what committee was, decide? What was the committee's recommendation? I lost everything. Well, there was very few of the original committee there. The, oh. the letter I wrote from Pat, that was that was yeah. his right. concern. He wanted to go back to the donations, which, which he instituted years ago. Uh, See, the thing I was saying with four, all I was saying with was risk and things. Everybody's got a bail on one of the best words. Put one of those tickets The kid can put that on there and look, create a problem. Right. When you walk by there and see it, it's going to say 3 p.m. Yeah. When it's all done and over, you cut it off and it's gone. It don't stick to the bowl, it sticks to itself, just like it does around the wrist. And you can't get it off, you can't reuse it. And when, it's, when you walk by it, if it says 4 o'clock on it, they're there. Past 8 o'clock, you know they've been there four hours. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a thing of making something easier for the kids. Yeah. You walk by and see, mm -hmm. and read a number with a marker, take a magic marker and put the number on there with a black magic marker. Mm -hmm. On one of those things. Things. Mm -hmm. They could walk by and see the tags on the boat and pick it up and say, okay, he was here at 2 o'clock. So when there's a shift change, if the shift change comes in at 4, he's going to know this guy's been there since 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, it, it's, 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 still, it's, it's, still a, it's still a problem of trying to catch every boat before they take off. Right. You know, there's a lot of times we only have one person down there. Right, but I'm just saying to make it easier for them to know when the boat's got there and when they did. That's all. Right. Mm -hmm. I think you're always going to have people that try always to skim out on that day. Oh, and that's just yeah. human. It's you're never going to fix people. it completely. But I think that probably the best way to look at it would be to see what generated the most revenue for the village and for the businesses. You're, you know, for you know the donation versus charging, what generated the most revenue, and how do we get those 36 footers not to squat and get away with not donating and get away with not coming into the village and spending money? I guess what's the best solution for that? I don't I don't know I the don't answer know to it. A, I don't know if there <laughs> is a solution for that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you know. The best thing for the village is is go back to the donations during the day and, and the uh, overnight fees. That's from what I've seen. I've, I've been watching this for and the other is many years. With the overnight fees, is when you have those 36 foot boats, if they don't pay their fee for the overnight, they get a ticket. Well, I had one person call me at my home and said, it's cheaper for me to pay the ticket than it is the overnight fee. So at time, you know, at, at $1.50 foot, and then the violation's only $50. Well, it's that same mentality that, yeah. you know, if they keep their boat and <laughs> yep. Yeah, exactly. They figure out that it's cheaper to put it on top mm -hmm. you know? Right. So this is what I'm talking about. Is so you know, revisit that fine. We definitely have to increase that penalty. But the committee I was just gonna say what did the committee say? The committee of people that were there, I think there was seven, there was Mike Bernan, Ron Thompson, Stephen Adrian, myself, Terry, there was one more person. Alan Taylor, and, and the bulk of the committee wanted to go with the donation and then charge. The option of the donation. Right, the option of the donation. Because those are the people that are coming in, like the locals, the islanders, that might come in for 20 minutes to grab an ice cream or to go have a beer and then leave. They have the option. That's what, you know, just, they have the option of giving a donation. So if you want to donate for four hours or free, whatever, if you want to give, but after that, you, you have pay. to pay to get out of here. Yeah. And it's you not a big pay fee. No, it's, no, it's, it's not so reasonable. No, it's not that it's much. Not, but no. It's not even 50. It's not even 50. It's not even 50. I think they believe they're user fees. If you want well, to use that, Yeah, and I believe in committee and mm -hmm. recommendations. Mm -hmm. And it was also consistent with other areas close to ours, to Clayton, to Kingston, I mean, right, it was very consistent with those fees in those areas as well. It and you found that if the kids sold it to them by saying, here's a donation envelope, instead of it's free, maybe that people would, mm -hmm. that was or the Or they know, you know, we like it a half 
four hours to look at our community, you know, and give them that. They know what, or the idea is, you know, maybe put something in there. Can I ask you a question, Steve? You're still at? How do you know when that board pulled out? You have, think, the, you have the right now, like you said. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. To, to what I'm saying is just put it down there. So yeah. When these kids switch shifts, you can walk by, pull mm -hmm. that tag up, and if it says 2 o'clock, that means after 6 o'clock. They're up there four hours. And there are going to be people that come. And that makes it so much easier on the kids and walking down through there and trying to write a number down on the boat and write two o'clock on a the pad. Then yeah. go back down through, look at the numbers on the boat, and say, so oh, this boat, because this yeah. boat, this boat, if those boats are coming in smart enough, they're going to go out and move around the bay to tie on the other side if they think you're yeah. over the four hours. So they're going to go right on the other side. Yeah. If, if put a sticky pad, yeah. 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 write the time of day on so the kids can each see it. When that people pull off, when they go away from that map, they're going to take the tank off the back and go get you. They'll, they'll, there's, like Steve said, there's people that will cut their tank off. There's, you're going to have a headache no matter what. Yeah. Chasing numbers down on that dock isn't an answer for kids. Or anybody. It's, an, it's a no win situation. You're going to try to get what you can get. So, are we going to make it difficult? Are we going to make it easy? What are we going to do? I want a motion. Yep. I'll make a motion to go with the committee's recommendation. I'll second. Got a motion by Gary and a second by Danielle to go with the first four hours as a donation and charge our normal daytime rates after that and keep the overnight fees the same as last year. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Good luck. <laughs>